This video is brought to you by patreon.com backslash sip the tally. Join the Patreon for exclusive vids, early release vids, on screen shout outs, access to members only giveaways, and added monthly tally points. Hop on over to patreon.com backslash sip to tally to see which one of the four tiers fits for you. Now let's get started. Welcome back to Sip to Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to take a look at Gus Edwards. Gus had one of his better days of the season versus the Arizona Cardinals to the tune of 19 carries, 80 yards, three touchdowns. Uh, three touchdowns, anytime you get that in a game, it's it's very, very uplifting for a player. Um, 80 yards rushing is way above what he's been getting, but the thing that I – was more impressed with with Gus is he got his average back up. Uh, we've known Gus to be a five yards per carry type guy, and lately he's been around two yards per carry. He got it up to 4.2 yards per carry uh, this game, which is not where he's normally at, but it's a lot better than he's been being. And the fact that he was running downhill, running through people, and not necessarily trying to run around him, the old Gus was back to me. And let's take a look at some of his better runs versus the Arizona Cardinals. Roll the intro. let's dive into the gus edwards tape but before we do that like the video if you've not subscribed please consider doing so and hit the bell so you can be notified when the rest of the content drops throughout the 2023 season first play we have a little inside zone and against this light box, we should have been running stuff like this all game long, but I'm not going to harp on that today. You got a good double team up front with, um, who is that? That's Simpson and Linderbaum. And that's what you should be reading on inside zone. You're reading that, that A-gap. And he does a good job of taking this on with pretty square shoulders. So he got the option to either bounce it there, hit it in that gap, and if need be, to cut it back. Got this gap kind of contained with number seven. So you really should be pressing right off Linderbaum hips hip to see what what goes on slow playing it downhill downhill cutting right off Linderbaum now Ricard loses his block but because Gus is such a low he's going to always fall forward if you can get him going downhill now contact is made right around whatever your line is is maybe just the 50 and Gus falls forward to maybe the 47 46 yard line so that's another three and three to four yards after contact. So anytime you can get him downhill and get it get a full head of steam, you're probably going to get Gus to, to fall forward. And that's that's the key to him getting his yards per carry up back around five where we are accustomed to him having it. And does a good job of pressing it. And again, if a card don't miss that block, you probably get a little bit little bit more out of that. Let's go to play two. Play two, we going outside zone. And it's what we had a little, little more success versus the Lions. Aiming point should be Ronnie and Ricard. And if Ronnie can get a hook or Ricard can get a hook, you're going to try to get outside. But if not, you're just going to run their guys wide. You got to find the bubble. And when you see it, stick your foot in the ground and get north and south. So they don't get hooks. Arizona does a decent job of, of really trying to set the edge. Uh, Simpson is kind of getting a, a turn back block. Record, I mean, I record. Linda Bum is, is running 65 wide, kind of like these other cats. So, really, he has to see that, stick that foot in the ground, cut it right off Linda Bum, and make sure you get right behind Simpson and then see if you can, you know, break up out of there. Good cut behind. See, there it is. Foreman right there. Turn back block by Simpson. Linda Bum runs this guy wide. There's the alley. Now, you get him downhill with a head of steam. You get a good game every time. It's a good job of being patient, too. Because right at one point, it didn't look like anything was going to be there. Like here, there's really nowhere for him to go. But a good job of being patient. A little hesitation. That little hesitation allowed the block to happen and for him to be able to hit it. Nice game. We get outside zone going the other way. Same play the opposite direction right here. Now this time you're reading Macari. Now, with the way it's set up right here, he should be trying to get outside of McCarr. Should. 
I don't know why he does not, because he's gonna try to pat his he gonna pat his feet and try to turn his back inside. But the way McCarr has this guy hooked, Gus should be on the track to get outside of him and hit it between McCarr and Ricard. But he doesn't. He cuts it back already. And with him cutting it back already, it kind of plays into the hand of the Cardinals guy because McCarr has this guy hooked. But but the good thing with Gus is if you if Gus can get a full head of steam and try to hit this gap right here, he can fall forward for another three to four yards, which is what happened. Because even even with this kind of half arm tackle, and a lot of guys ain't going to be able to arm tackle Gus. Good job McCarr kind of staying on it and allowing Gus to run through this one arm tackle. Then right there, contact is made, and watch him fall forward for another three or four yards. Look at that. Contact is way made well before whatever whatever yard marker this is. This is prop this is ten, this is twenty, twenty four. This is the thirty yard line. So contact is made well before the thirty. He falls forward to at least the thirty one. Again, you just gotta get him whatever the scheme is, you gotta get him downhill. And he does a good job of just, you know, seeing it. Getting them shoulders square. You want them shoulders this direction. The quicker he can get his shoulders in that direction, the better it is for Gus, no matter what the scheme is. Play four. Power. Some traditional stuff. Going back to power. You're going to get, um, you got Ronnie over here with an overload. You can get down, down, down. You're going to get Ricard kicking out. You're going to get Simpson pulling. Ronnie's going to do a good job of double teaming with, with um, Morgan Moses, then bouncing off to the linebacker. And just as Ronnie bounces off to the linebacker, Gus is going to hit it right off Ronnie's block. Here, there's a double team with Ronnie and Moses. Here's Simpson coming through. Gus is going to be patient. Be patient. There's a linebacker kind of in there where Gus wants to go. Watch Ronnie come off. Gus stick that foot in the ground. Boom, jump cuts right in that hole. Perfect jump cut. Now, I'll be claiming Gus don't have a jump cut, but he's going to prove He's proving me wrong in this, this video. Stick that foot in the ground right there. Great cut. Great cut. Great setup. Great vision. Get skinny. Get skinny through the hole, and I fall forward. That's a great run right there. Even though that probably was like seven yards, that's a, that's a great run. It's a great play. So great that we're going to turn around and do it on the other side. Let's try it again. <laughs> now this time, they muddle it up a little bit. They muddle it up. And then you got you got Buddha trying to shoot in, shoot that gap too. But the good thing about Gus is he sees that. I think he also sees Buddha coming in because everybody knows Buddha tries to come in and, and headhunt from that safety position. He outsmarts him, though. Buddha's coming in wide open. You think he's trying to hit that gap? Nope. He just bounce it again. And you don't think of Gus as a, as a quote-unquote bouncer to try to get to the outside, but in this case, it was perfect because had he hit that gap where it should have been, Buddha would have been there trying to cut his legs out because that's all he do anyway. But he played him. He's great vision for the touchdown. Great vision. Because, like I said, all look at Buda Bake up here. He right here. He's going to come in your screen. All he would have did was shot in that gap and just tried to cut Gus' legs out. And that crap hurt. See him coming? Gus saw it. But the thing I love about it is this little joker right here be blocking his butt off. He be blocking his butt off for every, any and everybody. Even when he can't get in it, you see him throwing his body around trying to get into play. This, this is – Great stuff right here. That's great stuff right there by uh, Zay. Yeah, I know high level receivers that block. That's high level to me. High level. Play six. Outside zone. Going back to the outside zone. Again, trying to read this block right here. Hopefully we get a reach. If not, if you don't get a reach, stick that foot in the ground and get north to south. Great job. Who's this with this? Zyla? Zyla doing a good job. Great job of staying there until Linda Bum takes it over. Great patience. They starting to work together, people. They starting to get it together. Zyla, don't leave that guy until Linda Bum takes it over. I love it. I love it. Now, Gus has the cutback. Now, it's, Arizona plays this well. They got this defended pretty well. What should happen is John Simpson should take on 10, and Gus should have a clean alley right there. But it's not going to happen like that. Sorry to tell you. Simpson's going to miss this block. But even with Simpson missing that block, 
Watch Gus fall forward for five yards. Five yards. And at this point right here, why the only lineman, the only lineman pushing is Linderbaum? You got Ronnie trying to get in at the end, but Zyla standing there, Morgan Moses looking there. You got Meg, just, I mean, not Meg, uh, John Simpson on the ground again on his knees and doing whatever. Get in there and push. Get in there and push. Didn't Arizona get like an extra boost on one of their touchdowns from the lineman pushing? They ain't going to beat a dead horse, so I'm going to just keep going. I'm gonna keep going. And then last play, inside zone. And again, I felt like they were punking us with this, this light box. Look, this, this is four down linemen, one linebacker versus a, a our 11 personnel. Gus Edwards should have had 200 yards. Look, you got two double teams. So you got these two guys taking on these two guys. You got these two guys for these two. You, sh you should have had 200 yards. We're getting boxes like this all game long. Now, I don't know what Morgan Moses is looking at, but Morgan Moses should hit this dude in the mouth. But Morgan don't see him. So even on this play, 34 right here, don't get touched. And Gus still gets about five yards. Morgan finally see him. By this time, it's too late. Because Gus is up on him. So 34 doesn't even get touched. Everybody else does their job. Morgan Moses just don't see him. And without even getting touched, Gus still gets you five yards. With that four-man box. That four-one box. Why we didn't continuously run inside zone or whatever, anything, until they came out of it. Because you, you got to account for him. He has to account for Lamar. So now you're looking at four on six, and we still got numbers. But we just kept trying to throw it. That's But that ain't what this is about. This is about Gus having a good day and the three touchdowns and 80 yards. So I appreciate y'all for coming through, man. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. And most importantly, share the video. Uh, share it on your social media, wherever you watch videos at, in your Reddit, uh, your Twitter, your uh Everywhere, Facebook, all that. So I um, appreciate everybody for coming through. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And remember the motto, FTMF, because film, then more film, because the film don't lie, unlike some people. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.